As 5G technology is gaining maturity and funding commercial applications, research on 6G is on the way. To realize the global coverage in 6G system, satellites are important components, including the geosatellites, amniosatellites, and LU satellites. There is an increasing number of companies in the world to develop satellites. For example, the Iridium company, which is famous for the LU satellite constellation for the communication all over the world, Iridium Next continues its ambition in the years. A rising player in the satellite market is Starlink of SpaceX, and it is famous for the creative plan of LU satellite networking. The number of LU satellites in this plan has been increasing to more than 40,000. Except for satellites in space, high attitude platforms are important components in the air. Compared with satellites, HAP has an attitude around 20 km and closer to ground. HAPs have powerful loading capacity which can provide strong access for the terrestrial users. Since HAPs can float in the air in a static location above the ground, it is deemed as a base station in the air to provide stable service. Different from satellites and HAPs, UAV flying in the low attitude air also plays an important role in the 6G system because UAV can act as both a small base station and a relay for emergency circumstances. UAV can also do the surveillance for the military, public, and the civil applications. Of course, the integration of satellites, HAPs, and UAV, named the Space Air Ground Network, will promote the 6G development. Air based node access network is important in showing the Space Air Ground Network, and to end routing is a detailed problem in the AM. There are many works related with the user access through satellites. However, there is little work related with the TCP protocol for satellites. Therefore, in this work, we mostly do the analysis of TCP protocol over satellite random access. We consider a geo-satellite system and a large number of source destination pairs and use the most popular TCP new RANO and the random access link. The TCP new RANO mainly includes three parts a slow start phase, a congestion avoidance phase, and a last retransmit recovery phase. We use a bidimensional Markov chain model for TCP neural network connection, including the slow start phase and the congestion avoidance phase. This is the one step transition probability seen with slow start phase. The initial value of the slow start threshold and the collision probabilities of each segment are key parameters. This is the one step transition probability seen in the congestion avoidance phase. The maximum value of CWND, the collision probability of each segment, and the probability of CWND are key parameters. It is the case of optimistic condition that there is no packet collision in the whole TCP connection. It is the case of the first packet lost in congestion avoidance phase. And it is the case of the first packet lost in the slow start phase. And we can obtain the analysis result in closed form. The relevant parameters of the physical, MAC, and the transport layers are set for simulations of the TCP new RANO connection over satellite DVB RCS to RA access links. The simulation results show throughput in the condition of no slot condition and the throughput within given WNP. We also analyze the upper bound and lower bound of the throughput as well as the throughput versus given P and W based on this TCP protocol for satellites and then combined with the network function virtualization technique. We can further improve the efficiency of resource allocation in the software-defined satellite networks.